Hey everybody, welcome to another edition here of the Washington Football Maniacs. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content. Um, and if you have been coming back for more and more content, thank you for coming back. If you are enjoying the content, then as you know, you are always welcome to subscribe. I encourage you to subscribe and also hit the notification bell. That way you will be notified when I come out with more videos. And with that said, let's get into today's video. And after multiple sexual allegations against Washington Redskins employees prompted an independent investigation from Beth Wilkinson, Dan Snyder received a slap on the wrist from the NFL in the form of a $10 million fine and a suspension from day-to-day -day activities as owner. The league imposed those sanctions back on July the 1st of 2021, but never made the Wilkinson findings public. How convenient, right? Um, at the time, though, 106.7, the fan had allegedly obtained a copy of the investigation, which was reported to recommend that Dan Snyder sell the team. However, the NFL maintained that there was never a actual written um, summary of the investigation that it was just an oral summary of the investigation and that there was never anything indicated that Dan Snyder should be recommended to sell the team. And so, of course, the NFL uh, wound up uh, giving Daniel Snyder, the, like I said, the, the slap on the wrist with a $10 million, $10 million fine and, of course, the uh, suspension to, of day-to-day -day activities in which Dan Snyder wound up um, turning over those activities, quote-unquote, to his uh, wife, who was co-CIO CIO of the team. And of course, then later the season, um, in the season, comes the leaked John Gruden emails uh, to none other than former Vice President of Football Operations for the Redskins, Bruce Allen. This would turn into a full-blown controversy, which led to the removal of John Gruden as coach of the uh, Las Vegas Raiders, but it also reopened investigations into the workplace environment of the Washington football team. And so this was almost, uh, you could see this, this has to be a crackback uh, from Bruce Allen getting back at Dan Snyder. You know, it's one of those things that, <laughs> you know, if you're going to take me down, you're coming down with me. And this is when... This is when it really starts hitting the fan, folks. Uh, so suddenly things are reopened as far as investigations, and this whole John Gruden thing was just the tip of the iceberg. And then later uh, there was testimony of uh, Tiffany Johnston in front of the White House Oversight Committee in which she accused Dan Snyder of sexual harassment. So um, to be more specific, uh, there was a, a dinner engagement in which uh, Snyder wanted Johnston to sit beside of him um, and then he wound up putting his hand on her thigh or her leg and then later on that evening he was kind of forcing her putting his hand on her lower back trying to get her into his limousine. Uh, Dan Snyder's uh, lawyer at the time, um, uh, his name escapes my mind, um, uh, was basically telling Dan, this is not a good idea. This is very bad. This is very bad. And uh, so anyway, uh, uh, Dan comes back and says, well, you know, Johnston is a liar. And says, and then Dan says that he's going to start conducting his own investigation to the matter. And of course, that is when Roger Goodell finally says, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. No, you're not going to do that. The NFL is going to do their own independent investigation. It makes no sense that you would investigate your own self. I mean, yeah, you're going to, of course you're going to investigate your own self. You're going to investigate to see if there's any evidence that is going to convict you and indict you, and you're going to remove that evidence. I mean, of course, uh, Ray Charles could see that. So, you know, so now the NFL is putting the kibosh on that. And now that brings us to this point. And this point is, 
uh, where we are starting to hear rumblings amongst uh, the other 31 owners that they believe it's now time for Dan Snyder to be removed as the Washington Commander's owner. And this came uh, from a little piece that uh, Mike, uh, oh, um, golly, uh, Flaro, <laughs> Flaro, um, had yesterday before the Super Bowl, and he basically, he basically kind of reiterated what the evidence that uh, the junkies, the 106.7, the fan, had obtained a year ago. And so now we're starting to think maybe this was actually true. Um, you know, it's like, all oh, the junkies, we don't believe a word they say. And the junkies do tend to, to be the, the type that's going to, you know, they're going to talk to hear themselves talk. And then suddenly, oh, maybe they did actually obtain something. Uh, and it was, it was a chance for this material to get out. They tried to get it out there. Nobody's really listening to them. And then suddenly you hand this over to uh, a true NFL insider who actually goes forward in front of national TV before the Super Bowl and says, hey, the owners are really wanting Dan Snyder out. This is seems to be what the uh, temperature is in the room right now. And yeah, people are starting to take, a, you know, they're starting to see attention on this. Um, so here's the thing, though. If Daniel Snyder if he is going down, you know he's going to take the scorch earth um, opportunity, meaning that if he goes down, he's going to take a lot of other people down with him, a lot of other owners. And so the owners are going to have to probably do this as quickly um, and as efficiently as possible, and they're going to have to definitely make sure that any... Um, skeletons that are in their closets are, are locked away with three or four locks because Dan Snyder is going to try his best. It, he's not going to go down without a fight, uh, but I assure you he is going to go down this time. Um, now, I, you know, certainly I'm saying this partly because I've been a fan. I, I have no, uh, I, had, I had none of my feelings as far as wanting Dan Snyder out. It's any any true Redskin, Commander, NFL, Washington football team fan knows that they want Dan Snyder out because they feel like this team is never going to be a good football team again unless Dan Snyder is out of Washington. And we feel like this time, for sure, it's going to happen. Um, here's the reason why I think it's going to happen. If you think back to, I don't know if it was this past summer, it may have been, or it may have been the summer before that, but when all of the issues with the minority owners, uh, you know, trying to get Dan to sell um, his uh, his portion of the team, and of course uh, all of the, uh, well, I guess it probably did come when um, the old name had to be retired. All of the uh, sponsorships started getting pulled. I think that was uh, part of the ploy of the minority owners trying to get Dan to you know, either retire the name and, or just sell the team in general. And then finally, they decided they were going to sell their portion of the team. Dan went to seek um, a loan to take over full ownership. And surprisingly, we were like, Dan is never going to be able to have the go-ahead to take out this loan and the NFL allowed it and we we're all like how in the world well I guess you know I guess maybe the NFL's it really is in cahoots with Dan Snyder I guess we don't want uh, you know I guess they don't want Dan Snyder out but we couldn't really see the force from the trees at this point uh, little do we know it's much easier to oust an owner when he is full 100% owner of the team when you have minority owners there's a lot more legality. There's a lot more red tape that has to be involved in order to sell a team. So by the other owners um, really kind of falling on, the, on their swords and selling uh, their portions of the team, 
it allows Dan for just a small uh, amount of time to own 100% of the team, but it also allows the rest of the uh, league to be able to vote him out and get him out and sell the team much, much faster. And so I believe this is part of, of what's happening now. And now that we're possibly hearing that the other 31 owners are fed up now, it may be the other 30, you know, Jerry Jones has always been really buddy buddy with uh, Dan Snyder, and Jerry Jones has a lot of power within the NFL. But at the same time, you don't have to have all 31 NFL owners in agreement to oust another owner. You, I believe, you just have to have maybe 23 owners in agreement. So it doesn't matter if um, if Jerry Jones goes along with it or not. Um, so, and as a matter of fact, I think there was um, there was a vote on something uh, a few years ago in which both Snyder and Jones um, did not agree with and both walked out on. And so, you don't have to have unanimous a vote on this. So by saying that, um, it really doesn't matter what we what Jones feels about this. And in the end, Jones may side with the other owners just for the benefit of survival. And um, I'm telling you folks, uh, things are getting ready to go down. Um, Snyder is this time in a world of trouble. And if you don't believe this, I mean, come on. I didn't believe the fact that everybody was telling me that the name was going to be Washington Commanders, and yet it was Washington Commanders. All the same people who were saying that I think it's going to be Washington Commanders are the... <laughs> are the same ones who are saying, I am hearing, in fact, that Dan Snyder is probably going to be on his way out. I'm, I'm really believing it this time. All the signs are pointing to it. When you start really stepping back and seeing the big picture, you know, like I said, you know, the minority owners, owners uh, selling their shares, um, making it to where it's really a green light, making it much easier for a much faster sell of the team, the allegations of uh, Tiffany Johnston, who's came forward, the John Gruden um, emails, the alleged, what, 100,000-page document that is out there that Dan Snyder is protecting. Folks, it, it, especially when you have Flora, who comes out before the Super Bowl, you don't want any negative press about anything NFL-related on Super Bowl Day, on Super Bowl Sunday, and yet we had that with Mike Flora talking about Dan Snyder. This was a message from Roger Goodell to Dan Snyder. And folks, you got to wake up. you got to believe it's going to happen this time. This is not conjecture. This is definitely going to happen this time. Um, I just hope that once Dan Snyder has been removed, that we do get a good... Uh, solid co uh, not coach but we do we do get a good solid owner in place who is going to reestablish integrity to this team um, pride into this team and honor to this franchise uh, it has not had any of that since Dan Snyder took this team over in fact Dan Snyder killed the Washington Redskins that's just that's just facts you know, he took a proud franchise that everybody felt was a beloved franchise in the league, uh, a winning franchise, <clears throat> a franchise that we all were just, uh, you know, so proud of. Uh, even even though that the team kind of was in a rebuild mode before he took over, um, we still said that this was one of the best franchises in the league. And he just, uh, he killed it. And he's he has been stomping on it for the last 20 plus years. And he needs to be removed. And it's not for the simple fact that he just doesn't know how to be an owner. I think that's how it was in the beginning. But I think now it's because that he's just, he's just the bad person. You know, um, these sexual allegations, uh, I mean, I'm sorry if it's a one-off um, allegation here that's, you know, there, there's been nothing else associated with, okay, maybe somebody was lying just to get some money, but in this case, 
Well, there's smoke. There's there's a lot of fire, and there's a big forest fire right now. We're we're going to start to see it. We're going to see all of the evidence here in just a little bit. We may not even see it until Dan Steiner has been removed, but I guarantee it. We're going to hear something very soon, and uh, you just you just stay tuned because it's going to happen. Okay, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, like it, share it, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Let's take command.